going on, folks? Welcome to the latest edition of Nintendo Enthusiast Week in Review. It is I, Sean Long. It's hot as hell in the game room. We're rocking the tank top. We're ready to go for summertime, baby. Without any further ado, let's jump into this past week's news. Alright, so Splatoon is finally released. And to be honest with you, I was kind of unsure on how the game would sell. But holy crap, it's selling really freaking well. It debuted at number one in Japan with over 150,000 units sold and like 97% of the stock was sold. It was sold out everywhere. So that's setting j records in Japan right now for as, you know, as fast as... So now that Splatoon has released, a lot of people are looking to see how the game will sell. Honestly, I was kind of a bit, you know, on the fence of how well it would sell, but it's selling pretty damn well. It debuted at number one in Japan, and it sold over 150,000 units. It set records for selling 97% of its stock. It was sold out everywhere. It's pretty freaking crazy. And it debuted at number two in the UK. Of course, we won't get any North American numbers quite yet, just because of, you know, the MPD doesn't come out until a certain time, but it's very promising. I think Nintendo has really struck a market here and is really appealing to a market that a lot of people didn't think existed. So kudos to Nintendo. I hope you see it sell really well. So we finally got some screenshots of Fast Racing Neo coming from Shannon, and <laughs> the game looks awesome. It looks awesome, and they're saying it's only an alpha build, so just wow, wow. This game looks phenomenal. It's gonna have online play, 720p, 60 frames per second. I am super hyped for this game, especially with, you know, Project Cars not coming to the system. Sure, it's a different type of racing game, but who gives a shit? They're actually putting a lot of time and a lot of effort into this. So Wii U supporters, you know, Wii U owners, you definitely better support this game because it looks phenomenal. It looks like something from, you know, something you would get in retail. It looks like a retail title, and it's going to be an eShop title. So I'm super looking forward to it, and I'm sure you guys are too. This week's Retro Game of the Week is brought to you by PunchOutGaming.com. From retro gaming to modern, punchoutgaming.com has you covered. Join their Facebook group for the best sales as well. Link in description. This week's Retro Game of the Week might not be old enough to be considered retro, but I want to talk about it, so we're going to talk about it. Obscure the Aftermath on the Wii. Obscure came out for the PS2 and Xbox back in, I think, 2004, and had you playing as some high school kids where some creepy shit was going on in their high school. Now you play as the same kids, but in college, and guess what? Some creepy shit is happening in their college. It's a really fun game, the story is kind of mid, but it plays out kind of like a uh, late 90s sort of horror movie, so I kind of appreciated that. It's a really fun game, you can play with two players simultaneously, and it can be picked up for pretty cheap, and the end boss battle is really sweet too. So if you enjoy sort of 90s horror movies, or just horror games in general, pick this game up, it kicks ass. So the Nintendo NX is obviously on the horizon. Who knows when we'll see it. My personal opinion, 2017. But a rumor was going around that the system was gonna run on Android, which is a very popular platform nowadays. You know, mobile phones use it, and it's very diverse in what you can do. But that rumor was quickly shot down. A representative reached out to the Wall Street Journal from Nintendo and said, hey, the system is not running on Android. So is that really the end of the case? Mm, that's kind of hard to say. Nintendo has done things like this before with the new 3DS, you know, pretty much saying it did not exist, and then look what happened with that. So what do you think? That's going to be the question of the week this week. Do you think Nintendo's next system will be on Android, or will it be something different? Let me know in the comments section below, and we'll talk about it next week. Finally, we all know how much I love Amiibo. But it looks like there's some counterfeit ones popping up in Brazil. Counterfeit Amiibo. That's what society we live in, folks, where people have to make counterfeit Amiibo because there's such a huge demand for it. It's crazy to me. The Amiibo phenomenon is just nuts. As you can see, I've got my golden Mario here. Got my squid girl, and Yoshi's falling. He can't even handle the amount of Amiibo, Amiibo madness, but it's very funny to see, you know, definitely be on the lookout if you're an Amiibo collector because you know those are going to end up hitting the states. And, you know, if you want to go into business making fake Amiibo with me, we can make some real money. I'm just kidding, Amiibo collectors. Calm down. It's not that serious. And that's going to do it for this week's show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Answer the question of the week. Hit me up on social media, you know. Check me out. I'm always doing stuff on social media. Do what you got to do. 
Before I go, though, I wanted to tease a Class vs. Crafts for tomorrow. Tomorrow's episode is probably our biggest episode ever. We have an awesome guest on there, one of the best um, game creators for Nintendo platforms, especially on the eShop side of things. Jules from Renegade Kid will be joining us live. It's going to be awesome. I'm hoping to see the biggest turnout ever because, you know, someone with actual talent is going to be on there. It's not just me and some Canadian schmuck. So make sure you guys check that out for sure tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Later.